This is Kingdom Business. I'm Kumbira Inongo. Welcome to another edition where we're privileged to have Jackie Munchanyukam Gido, who's the owner and founder of Vault Cosmetics. Jackie, thank you for joining us on Kingdom Business. Thank you. This is amazing. What a privilege. Yeah. Well, tell us a bit about yourself. Who's Jackie? So, Jackie Megiddo, I am a celebrity makeup artist. I'm Zimbabwean. Okay. Um, I had a dream and I wanted to work on TV, so I moved to Hollywood and made that dream come true. And with that, I decided to start a cosmetic line okay. called Vault Cosmetics because I was blessed enough to leave the country and I wanted to give back to my own people. Well done. Now, the journey <laughs> to Hollywood, how has that been? <laughs> <laughs> The journey to Hollywood has been, I mean, a lot of ups and downs, but at the same time, a lot of blessings, okay. honestly. You know, I, I've i done every job that you could think of doing. Every job? Well, I've been a maid. You've been a maid? <laughs> yes. Jeez. And, yes. and how was that experience? It, it was very interesting because my parents used to always tell me, you know, I came from a pretty privileged family. Okay. You know, we pretty much had everything. But my mom used to always say to me, my maid is my maid because she kind of knew that you know, life overseas is very difficult mm. and you just never know where you're going to be. Okay. And um, I came across this lady called Miss Soldiers who used to say, my maid speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it um, was kind of cruel, yeah. but I knew for a fact that it was just a journey. It was just a journey that I was going to go through. I knew that I had bigger things planned. All right, so from there, mm -hmm. because uh, it's interesting how you started from humble beginnings because people don't normally realize that you start from somewhere. Yeah. Now from there, how did you get get to the to the limelight? So, you know, it's interesting. Um, I have an amazing husband who's extremely supportive and he understood and knew my vision. I was always an artist and always a dreamer. I wanted more for myself. Okay. I lived in Tinwald um, and in Tinwald, it's pretty much farmland. It is. And I used to talk to the animals a lot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had nobody else to talk to. And um, I was a kid that was always in my own head. Okay. You know, um, you know, as kids, you always have problems with family or whatever. And I was a kid that was from, you know, outside the marriage. So I was always a loner. And, but yet I was always a very free spirit and lovable kid and I loved to laugh and smile. Mm -hmm. So with, with that, you know, that just kind of got me to a state where, you know, God blessed me with an amazing husband who was like, listen, what do you want to do? And he would listen to all my crazy dreams. Wow. And, and I remember even coming to America was a crazy dream because I dreamt about it okay. and made it. And he he's always been the one to research because I was always the one that was scared right. and got me to the places where I needed to be. All right. So what, what kind of work are you doing right now mm -hmm. around the world? Okay, so um, in LA, I am the head makeup artist for a couple of TV shows. Okay. So I work for Food Network and um, I, I'm a freelancer for them, so I do makeup for them as well. Okay. And then I have a couple of clients that I um, pretty much travel with all around the world. And then I have Vault Cosmetics, right. which has just catapulted into this amazing whirlwind where we do pop-up stores. We have one, we did one in the UK. Okay. We just launched in South Africa and we're here in Zimbabwe. You know, so we're in department stores, we are here at the Vault Studios, and now we're about to go to Nevis, which is in the Caribbean. Well done. Now, how is Vault doing right now? Can I just tell you, um, Vault being in this atmosphere in Zimbabwe right now, it's funny how everybody keeps talking about how difficult it is at home. We decided that that was not our spoon. That okay. was not our cup of tea. Mm. We're going to do good. We're doing amazing. Okay. We're well doing done. amazing. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Very well done. We're doing amazing, yes. What is your key to this amazing performance in Zimbabwe, for example? You know, the key, first of all, the key is in a lot of prayer. Okay. A lot of belief. Um, a, a lot of education. Okay. And finding that loophole. Mm. You know. The niche. The niche. Because yeah. cosmetics in Zimbabwe, we were always taught that cosmetics was not for you, cosmetics is for women of the night. But what I've done, which I work with celebrities all the time, yes. when they're on TV, they want to set a certain image. There could be a lot of things going on in their lives that a lot of people see them as this amazing person and they have to be that yeah. person. Yeah. And what makeup does, makeup just kind of gives you that cape of armor where you can just feel like you can do anything and everything. So we found that niche in Zimbabwe. 
you know, we've basically come and said, listen, you have other companies coming in from all over the world. They're not teaching you how to do the makeup. They're not teaching you why you should wear makeup. They're mm. just putting it out there. Mm. Mm. We hear and we're saying, we love you. Yes. We're holding your hand. We're giving you makeup for you, not for everybody else. Yeah. It's for you and understanding why you're wearing that makeup. And right there, that's just given warmth to the women and it's just been amazing. Well it's done. amazing. Well done. You spoke about a lot of prayer. Mm. Tell us about how God has been an impact in your life so far. Can I just tell you this? So when I first started the brand, um, you know, we start off by, by branding. Yeah. You go and you choose what fits that that um, range. That range yeah. in the country. I started off like that because it's extremely expensive. It's like $10,000 to produce just one product. So like foundation and everything. Okay. And Before you replicate Before them. you replicate it. And I would always go to these manufacturers and say, hey, listen, I want to guide you and I want to ask if you could make something specifically for people like me, for people in my country. Mm -hmm. yes. And they would say, listen, this is the deal. Black people do not buy. And I kept on talking to God, and I was like, look, you, you've given me this. Um, I want to find a chemist, mm. which is crazy because I didn't have money. Mm. And our chemist, Peter, who had just bought this other company, I, I went to him. I called first, and his secretary was like, you can't see him. Mm. Then I went in, and I, would, I always talked to God. I'm in the car. I think people think I'm crazy. Yeah. But then again, they could think I'm on the cell phone. <laughs> But I, I was driving and I was like, I need to talk to this man. Yeah. I need to see this man. I walk in and I'm like, Peter, hi, I'm Jackie. And he's like, okay. And I was like, you need to make makeup for Africa. And he was like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and we just like clicked and everything, every single thing that has happened is unexplainable. And Amazing. what else can it be? It's a miracle. Amazing. Now, what I learned from you right there mm -hmm. is that you have to have faith. 100%. But you, your faith has to have action. 110%. <laughs> because you're saying you went to Pete and said, I want this. PA that didn't want yes. that meeting to take place, but you were, you were there, you were so aggressive, passionate oh God, about yeah. your idea. Look, pe people all the time, you can get on your knees and pray all you want, but God has given you the tools. Yes. So if you're not going to use those tools, then it's not going to work. I ask myself, if I, if I don't have a productive day, whether it's here at Vault or whatever it is, I ask myself, have I done everything in my power mm. to make sure that I'm putting a coin mm. in my business? Mm. And as I go down the list, I actually kneel and I'm like, God, okay, I get it. All right, fine, I didn't do that. Okay, <laughs> already. So, you know, you have to. Yeah, that's mm. quite interesting. When did that journey with Christ start for you? So living in Zimbabwe, I was, I remember clearly I was nine years old and I would go to all these churches and I was always that kid that always asked questions. Yes. I didn't get it. Okay. I didn't understand why people were on their knees. Mm. And I also really didn't understand why people had those long prayers. Because okay. I was like, man, if there's a lot of people praying, God must be like, really? <laughs> you know? And I, I was always very confused. And I, I really remember this. I, I was in the lounge and I was praying to God and I was very confused about something that was happening in my life. And this voice said to me, if I come to you confusing, it's not me. Mm. From mm. that day onwards, that changed my life forever. Because wow. wow. I knew for a fact that God is not confusing. Yeah. So that was it. There has to be clarity. There has in the to be clarity. He's clear. It's like wow. night and day. I like that. Yeah. Hearing from God and yeah. transforming your life. If it's confusing, it's not Him. Wow. I Just like know that. that. I like that. Yeah. Well, Jackie, we have to take a short break. Okay. Kingdom Business takes a short break. Don't go away. Stay with us. <laughs> 